Have you ever wonder how the great websites like iPhone made? Have you ever seen some kind of greatest websites where they have it like lot of animations? Here comes to the picture. The majority of the websites were powered by GSAP, an official animation library based on JavaScript. GSAP is currently free now, which is owned by Webflow now and which is currently completely free. And how do you animate using the GSAP and how to do step by step? Let's see it now. See the official GSAP website. You can see it here, GSAP does animate, animate anything. It will animate anything. GSAP allows us to effortly animate anything the JavaScript can touch. It will deliver something smooth performance and unmatched support that you can do. Take it any famous websites which you can find it using awards. Let's go to the awards and we can find it any kind of cool websites, how they are made. For example, let's go here, let's go to the famous iMac website. Let's load it up. Now see here, see the cool animations that's going on, how much smooth they are and how can you build this all using the library GSAP. Now, green stock animation. How do you do this particular one? First, you need to take CDN links. You need to take CDN, GSAP and which will comes with basic CDN links. GSAP provides so many plugins like scroll triggers or uh, vectors or SVGs and so many ones including the gravity ones which physics can do. But still, you can take the basic GSAP one and you can go here. Let's start a simple HTML page, index.html, script.js and let's start a simple HTML code. Exclamation, enter, where it will start a template page and here I can see script src dot slash script.js. Now I just copied the GSAP animation CDN link. What is CDN link? Content delivery network page. Any library when you want it, you will take the CDN link of that particular library because the library is a pre-written code and the code which is already written for that particular library is already imported in CDN, which you will just take it here. See, this is the link that contains the actual GSAP code. And I wanted to put this GSAP code into my website so that I just do it here, script src. Now let me create it here, a simple div, div with id box and inside the box, let's write it here, hello world, which will print a simple hello world and I'm keeping here one button which is click me and if you go here id btn. So the logic is very simple. Imagine if I click this button, I want this hello world to have animation, something similar to the cool animations in the GSAP website. And how can we do that? Let's check it in the GSAP docs. Any library when you wanted to learn, all you have to do is go to the docs of that particular website so that you can able to see it. Now I'm just going to the GSAP doc. So all I can see is so many methods which were already there. So I'm just going to a simple method. Let's go here from. So I'm just going here. I'm just taking here a GSAP of two. If anyone clicks this button, there is a button with ID BTN. Let's go here. If anyone clicks this particular button, document dot get element by ID button. So I just selected this particular button and if anyone clicks this button, how do you make that particular one? So all you have to do is add event listener. If anyone clicks this particular button, automatically it will call one particular function. Let's try it, sir. So if you click a button, the function will work. And inside this function, I'm just writing the GSAP code, what it will do with two method. 
before you run this first you need to import this particular gsap one you need to write this script src then you can write it gsap.2 the box instead of dot box i'm writing hash box because that is what id box so let's see here sir how it will work go to my website click here go live and there itself see if i click here can you see here it's having a simple animation and here let's understand this animation how they are working so we are just rotating it imagine i don't want any rotation i want it like simple smooth just x axis i want it to transfer i just want to transfer x axis something 500 so let's go here click here and it will move you can actually do more wonders into this particular gsap in any kind of websites where you can see it such a cool things can be done here you can do scroll triggers see by scrolling i'm triggering a particular thing or you can trigger some text animation where text can split it up or text can you know add it up or having multiple effects or you can see some svg uh, you know svg kind of mobs where you can take an svg image and you can able to turn it into any kinds of shapes you like and all these animations and more libraries we will see it in our future series if you find this video helpful please like share subscribe to narishati youtube channel thank you all.